Welcome to Flip It and List It. Today, we're going to get to know the Castillo sisters. They just inherited a gorgeous heritage home in a location that's hot, 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 and only getting hotter. Their house has great bones, but in its current condition, it might not turn many heads in the marketplace. That's where we come in. Here on Flip It and List It, we take rundown rustic homes and flip them into sleek and sellable houses. We believe that with just a few strategic renovations before the open house, these sisters could cash in big at closing. That's why our generous and faceless investors come in on every project with a loan to pay for the remodel. But the loan has some strings attached. Our homeowners are taking a gamble here. If something goes wrong and their house doesn't sell, then they're on the hook for the renovation costs. But if they play their cards right, they can earn upgrades and free cash through challenges along the way. One house, two sisters, and everything on the line. I'm your host, Tessa Westbrook, and this is Flip It and List It. So let's get to know our homeowners. Uh, hi, I'm Patricia. And uh, I'm Julia. <laughs> Great. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves, ladies. Uh, oh, uh, well. <laughs> um, I'm, I, I'm, my name is Patricia. I already said that. Um, okay. Are we feeling <laughs> a little camera shy? A little bit, yeah. Definitely. Sorry. This is a lot. <laughs> No, oh, please. It's okay. It's my fault. Really, we, we just we jumped right in there and I didn't give you any time with training wheels. Yeah, it's just a little hard to adjust to the, um, you know, the... The, the what? I think she means um, uh, that right there. Oh, the camera. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I kind of feel it too. I mean, I'm cool with it or whatever, but it is a little bit overwhelming. Overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. Overwhelming is a good word for it. And scary. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a little scary. <laughs> yeah. Just try not to worry about it. You just, you have to treat the cameras like the crew. Just tune them out and eventually you won't notice them at all. That's it? Kind of. The secret is to pretend the camera isn't even there, but also never forget that the camera is there. Does that make sense? No, not really. It's a balance between seeming very effortless and very prepared, like you're on a job interview or first date, you know the feeling. Yeah, Patricia, you know what? Just pretend it's like all your dates. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have anything to be worried about. You two are so charming already. Just you know, be yourselves. Always cheat out for the camera and smile. They're going to love you. Thank you. Absolutely. And actually, it's pretty important that they do. <laughs> We've got a big audience and it's crucial that they think you're likable. Otherwise they'll just tune you out. Oh. Weird. Yeah, well, you know how it is. And our investors are all about the ad revenue, so smile big. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't know about this, like. Uh, what? She's nice. At least she's being real with us. I don't trust her. You're just being paranoid. She's trying to make us money. I don't know, Bati. This feels weird. You're just mad because you had to get dressed up, okay? Let's just relax, okay? So, let's try it again. So, uh, Julia, you're a teacher, isn't that right? Uh, yes, I teach social studies. <laughs> oh, social studies. It's not like a fancy word for history. Uh, kind of. It's yeah. sort of an interdisciplinary blend. There's some history, some geography, some civics, some sociology. Oh, whoa, is this a college course? <laughs> um, no. It's a charter school. The kids are in fifth grade, so it's kind of light, but they learn a lot. It's a great job. That sounds wonderful. And it, it looks like you got a brand new student on the way. Yeah, six <laughs> months along. Oh, congratulations. Wow, it really suits you. You make wow. it look so effortless. <laughs> Thank you. I've been feeling kind of slow moving lately. <laughs> I bet you must be eager to have all this house stuff out of your hands then. <laughs> well, yeah, but. And uh, Patricia, 
you work as a nurse, right? Wow, what a brave Ooh. profession. No, 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 no. I, I'm not a nurse. I'm, I'm an accountant. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I used to work at a public accounting firm downtown, but I've recently transitioned into private practice. So I I've got it down that you were a professional caretaker or mistake. Oh, oh, no, I, I was caretaking for my mom during the last few months of her life, but she, um, she passed away. So I'm an accountant now, or I was an accountant before I'm back to accounting full time now. Um, I do private practice now for individuals and LLCs. Well, that's pretty brave. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you've been living in the ha this house for the last two years? Yes, uh, during the caretaking time. It's a lovely home. Oh, it sure is. Uh, so what, what can you tell me about the house itself? Well, uh, as you can see, the house is full of gorgeous original details and a level of craftsmanship that you really can't find anymore. It was built in the 1800s. Oh, by so our the great, great grandfather. Oh, wait, really? Uh, well, that's the story. Mm -hmm. It was passed down through our mother's side of the family. Our great, great grandfather built this house with his own two hands. Wow, I don't think I knew that about this place. That's incredible. And it's walking distance from two parks and some really lovely boutiques. And the new light rail takes you directly into the city center. So it's very convenient. And our family has lived in this neighborhood for, for decades. decades. <laughs> um, well, well, I mean, I, I guess mean, decades for the uh, two of us, but I guess technically like you know, a century and a half family, for the family, right? like the but entire we're not the family. Whole family, are we just the two of us on our years. own years? How's that? Fine. Years. Yes, years. Our family has lived in this neighborhood for years and years and years and years. All right. Well, <laughs> Highville must have been a wonderful place to grow up. Highville? That's a new nickname. Don't worry about it, Julia. Should we move on with the tour? Yeah, of course. Uh, what, <laughs> you still call it, um, e, uh, e, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, Ilo Villa? Yes. <laughs> oh, that sounds so beautiful. Ilo Villa. Yeah, my sister hasn't lived here for a while, so she doesn't know the uh, abbreviated name. Villa means Thread Town. So way back when the town was just being founded, this whole region was still segregated. So the farm workers got edged out of the city and ended up way out here. And she's such a teacher at heart, right? Always with a lesson plan in the We're back of her pocket. Between the urban industrial center and the agricultural areas in the valley. So the men would go south to farm and manufacture the thread, and the women would go north to process and sew it. So, Ilo Villa. Oh, I see. Well, I wonder why they renamed it. Well, in uh, Spanish, the H is silent. So, Highville would be the white. The way. English pronunciation. Hmm. Well, I like it the old way. <laughs> what a lovely name. Well, I guess pretty much everything gets abbreviated these days. We ho, so ho, so ha, fan town, T beach. <laughs> T beach. <laughs> Hard to get around it when the times change. Well, the times haven't changed that much. You know, textiles are still a huge part of our local culture. When I was growing up, there were these stands on the side of the roads where little old abuelitas would sell these gorgeous handmade traditional dresses. Oh, they were so beautiful and everyone knew how to sew. I mean, everyone. You don't know how to sew. I had this friend, we called him Joselito. Him and his manos would walk through the barrio selling these dresses that their tia had made. And one day. Okay, come on. What are you doing? What? I'm telling a story. Oh, that voice. Why do you keep doing that? Oh, you know, in our barrio and Joselito with his abuelita. It's not a voice. You don't talk like that, ever. You called Jose Lito Joey since the day you met him. Hey, okay, well, maybe this place just brings it out of me. Are you sure it's not for the cameras? What, no. How come you're acting like it's a shameful way to talk? It's not, but it's not how you talk. Well, you're putting on a voice too. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah? 
Oh, yes, there are some lovely little boutiques. The craftsmanship is wonderful. The Velvati is divine. I am a professional woman. This is how I talk now. Oh, now? This is my real voice. This is mine. You sound like a goddamn cartoon. Whatever. I don't know what you're trying to prove. That's funny, because I know exactly what you're trying to prove. <laughs>